Brother Joe, one thing I know, uh, a scripture that I used to really misunderstand, I think, a lot, and but depended on a lot as a, as a oneness person, uh, was 1 Timothy 3.16. Yeah. And uh, we get people inquiring sometimes about that. What would you say about that verse? What, what do you think? Well, uh, Brother Dan, the Bible is the best commentary on itself. Mm, you mm, know, mm. and I, I, I know your your agenda is just the truth. Mm. It's not that we're trying to follow some denominational uh, handbook or, or in, you know, uh, endorse mm. uh, some denominational view. It's just what does the Bible say? And this, you're right. This is used a lot. Uh, by oneness and Trinitarians, first of all, to say that the Godhead or Godhood or who is God is a is this great mystery. It says uh, starts off and without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. The word godliness there is righteousness or piety. Paul is not saying. It's a mystery who God is. Mm, mm. <laughs> you know, Paul didn't have any problem. He said in, in the Philippians 4.19, but my God, he knew who his God was, mm, but mm. my God will supply all of your needs through his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So he, he made those distinctions. But... Uh, so he's saying here, great is the mystery of righteousness. Great mm. is the mystery of piety. You so know, when he's saying great is the mystery of godliness, he's not saying great is the mystery of the Godhead. Of who God. Or God yeah. Paul had no problems no, on that no, no. bigger point. <laughs> and God says in uh, in Jeremiah chapter nine, you know, let not the rich man glory in his riches, or the wise man glory in his wisdom, but he that glorieth, let him glory in this that he knoweth and understandeth, understandeth me that I'm God. I mean, I mean, we can rejoice about that today because we know who God is. So I, don't, I think it's an insult to God to say he made a lot of human beings without, as his children and didn't give us enough intelligence to know who he is. Mm -hmm. Sure, we should know who our God is. <laughs> so uh, that's not the mystery that Paul's talking about. Great is the mystery of righteousness. Then the word God in this verse, uh, the NIV, the NASB, the NCV, mm -hmm. Holman CSB, uh, the Amplified, and you will not find the word God in that verse. Most of the Greek manuscripts do not have God in that verse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was uh, that was inserted by the uh, King James translator. Mm -hmm. We owe them a great debt. I mean, they they did a lot of good mm -hmm. things, but sometime they inserted their understanding, and right, so the word right. God, God was manifest in the flesh. Now, let me say this: If Paul really did say God was manifest in the flesh. He's still not saying that Jesus was God incarnate. He doesn't say that. Does he, he didn't say that. Yeah, that's right. uh, in 2 Corinthians 4.11, Paul uses similar language about us and Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. Mm -hmm. See, Jesus is manifest in our flesh. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make it doesn't Jesus. make us Jesus. Last time I checked, it's pretty, I mean, that, that's pretty what, certain. <laughs> that's what we strive for, yeah. that we we manifest the Lord Jesus Christ in our mortal flesh. That's what he, he uses, the similar terminology. And then here he says, God was manifest in the flesh. And so, I mean, you and I weren't there when, when the original was written, and we can only take the, the manuscripts mm -hmm. in, in Greek as sure. it's been handed to us. But like I say, most of the better manuscripts do not have God in that verse. That's why all these translations that I named either have He or Christ. Mm -hmm. He who was manifest in the flesh. Right. See, Job asked a question several thousand years ago, how can mortal man be, be justified with his maker? Mm -hmm. And, and in, in our Lord Jesus Christ, because of his sinless life, you know, his righteous sacrifice on the cross, mm -hmm. he was mortal. 
You know, Hebrews right. says, is talking about Jesus mm-hmm. when it says, as, a, as it is written, as appointed unto man wants to die, so Christ. Mm-hmm. A man wants to die, so Christ died once. Mm-hmm. The righteous for the unrighteous. So, uh, you know, our Lord Jesus is the righteousness, became the righteousness of God right. through his sinless life, totally sinless, defeated every foe, passed every test, mm. resisted every temptation. Mm. Mm. But in him we have righteousness mm. as well. So uh, to me, Paul is saying here, he who was manifest in the flesh, or Christ who was manifest in the flesh, was justified in the spirit. Mm. That's a mystery. That's the mystery. A man born of a woman. Mm. Mary was a woman, a virgin. Mm-hmm. But he, Jesus our Savior was born of a woman, could be justified in the Spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, and, and received, received up in the glory. And that is a, that, a great hey, mystery. That's a great mystery. <laughs> yeah. But it's not a mystery of who God is. Yeah. <laughs> He's on the first page of the Bible. He's on the last page of the Bible. He's he's always been God. Always we don't have to wonder who he is. God, and we, and, and, that's right. Well, I, that's I right. like that. So, I guess uh, our thoughts would be then first the word God really doesn't occur in the better manuscripts of our Greek. Language. That's just a fact we have that to face, right. and that's that's, right. there it is. But even if Paul had said God, which by all the manuscripts looks like he didn't. Uh, if he'd said God was manifest in the flesh, that would still not make Jesus Christ God, God. because indeed uh, God being manifest in someone doesn't make that someone right. God. And yeah. Jesus was surely manifest the Father. Oh, absolutely. He here. He's the perfect revealer of the Father. Yeah. Hebrews says the express image of the Father, <laughs> but an image is not the original, it's a representative likeness. Right. Jesus is that exact likeness mm. of the Father. Wonderful. That's why I could say, Philip, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father, yeah. because Jesus is the image of the well, Father. You know, Brother Joel, it's interesting to me that when I used to think that scripture was telling me that Jesus was God, I was missing the real power of that verse and yes. what Paul was really saying. Right. The What Paul is saying is not great is the mystery of God. Yet he was saying great is the mystery of godliness Hallelujah. that this man would be indeed made known to us here in the flesh and yet all these amazing things of yeah. God would be accomplished in him. In the flesh but justified in, in the, the spirit. spirit. Wow. That just puts a little doodad running up and down, <laughs> brother Dan. I mean it, uh, you know that because we've sold our Lord Jesus short. Mm. Oh, absolutely! Not only sold the Father short. You're, that's exactly. We sold right. Jesus short. That's that He condemned sin in the flesh. Right. That's why He's our hero, our champion, mm-hmm. our substitute. Amazing. Our elder brother that took the whipping for us at Calvary that we weren't worthy to take wow. couldn't take Isn't that amazing? and in him we're righteous yeah. that's a mystery that is a mystery that's I the mystery you. Paul had in mind wasn't Amen. It? <laughs> I love it well thank you Brother Joel that's, that's great that's thank good you. stuff thank you very thank much you.